What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I am super excited for today's video. Today for you guys, I have an Amazon favorites, which I am sure a lot of you guys like myself are just Amazon junkies, especially during quarantine. I have spent so much money on Amazon. It is just ridiculous, but um, I have bought so many things from there that I am just absolutely obsessed with and I wanted to put together a little video just to show you guys, but I also love watching these types of videos. I think they are so much fun and so interesting and they give me so many great ideas. So if you guys feel inspired by this video at all, if you see some things that you like, um, just know that I will link everything in the description bar down below for you guys. Make sure to check it out. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, you guys. It would help me out a lot. Um, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure when you subscribe to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So I've kind of divided everything up into certain little categories. So the first category that I'm gonna start with is like fashion items. And I'm actually gonna start with a couple of the pieces that I'm wearing right now. So these little gold hoops are from Amazon. Um, I just got them in the mail the other day and I'm absolutely obsessed. They are the perfect size. They're not too big, but they're not too small and they are super, super lightweight. So they are honestly just like the perfect chunky gold hoop. And if you guys know me, you know I love gold jewelry. I rarely wear any other type of jewelry. I don't really like silver. Um, I just think gold goes with my skin tone better. I think it goes with my style better so almost all the jewelry I have is gold and I think that these hoops are just the perfect little accessory and I definitely want to get them in more sizes I definitely want to go a little bit smaller I want to get some like big bougie ones for like going out going to the bars but I just think these are so cute they're so perfect and of course they are super affordable and the next item that I have for you guys is actually this necklace that I'm wearing it is just this little rectangle with my initial the letter E on it I got this because I really only have one gold necklace um, and it's real gold. I never take it off. It is you can hardly see it because it's so small It's just this thin little beaded one from Dainty and gold this um, I believe is gold Plated make sure if you get this or something similar off of Amazon you take it off before you shower because it will get ruined But I just think this is so cute. It's like the perfect long length I'm not sure exactly how long the chain is, but it hits in like a really great spot. But I wasn't expecting the chain to be as thick as it is. And it is more of like a yellow gold than a gold gold, if you know what I mean. So it definitely doesn't look like real gold, but it still is really pretty. And it goes with all of my jewelry. So I am obsessed with this. I think it's so cute and I will definitely be wearing this almost every day. I'm sorry if I get distracted. Hadley is down over here on the floor <laughs> chewing on some of her toys and it's really cute. So it's kind of hard to ignore. The next item that I have for you guys is another accessory and it comes in this really pretty yellow pouch that is lined with felt material on the inside and you guys if you don't have a pair of sunglasses like these you need them and they are so affordable they're so on trend everyone has these if you don't go ahead and click the link in my bio and buy these because they are so affordable and so cute you guys These are like the coolest pair of sunglasses I've ever owned. Like I love these so much and these are so in right now. Like these cat eyed square sunglasses. Oh my gosh. They just like, they look so chic and expensive. Oh my God. I'm just obsessed with them. Like I can't wait to wear these everywhere. And I know, I know summer is ending. So it's not going to be that sunny, especially if you're like me. You live somewhere cloudy like I live in Vermont the Sun only comes out like once in a blue moon but these are literally a must they are 
such nice quality. They seem really, really durable. It comes in so many different colors too. I think it comes in white, like pink, blue. There's a tortoiseshell one. I think I'm gonna get that one next because I don't have any tortoiseshell sunglasses, but you guys get these. And the next sort of fashion item that I have for you guys is actually this oversized men's t-shirt. And you guys, you guys will see like this is it's it's massive like it's huge, and I love this. It is so cozy. It's so comfy. It's really really high quality, really thick material, and it's just like the perfect oversized t-shirt. And it comes in literally so many different colors. So if this like washed gray look isn't for you there's definitely something, some color on there that is for you. But I just love this like worn in look that this t-shirt has. Like it looks like I've had it for a while and it's been washed, but it's still so thick and so comfortable. But this is just the perfect oversized tee. You know, you could pair this with like jean shorts if it's still kind of hot where you guys live. Like you could pair it with leggings for class. Um, you could wear it with some biker shorts. That would be really cute too. So there's so many different ways that you can style this. I feel like everyone just needs like an oversized big baggy t-shirt. I got this one in a men's medium. And honestly, I do kind of wish that I went for a men's large. So next time I get one of these shirts, it will probably be in a large. But again, these are super affordable. They're only like $10, I think. So definitely pick one of these up. So the next couple items that I have for you guys are kind of like books, note keeping, organization, stuff like that. So the first thing I want to talk about is this book right here. This is Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. I got this book at the beginning of the summer and since I got it, I have recommended it to so many people. It is one of my favorite books to date it is probably one of the reasons why I started up my YouTube channel again. It's just like the most inspiring, like motivating book I've ever read. And I feel like a lot of, you know, like self help books can be kind of boring, I guess, like I've, I've read a couple and this one is not that it's interesting it's lighthearted. And like I said, it is really inspiring and really motivating. This kind of like got me off my butt and got me figuring out, you know, like what I want to do with my life, like how to make myself happy. It is such a good read. I recommend it to literally everyone. And the next type of kind of like self-help book type deal that I have for you guys, um, and I'm sure you've seen this over so many influencers feeds, whatever it is, is this five minute journal. So I am just feeling like really encouraged and inspired lately. And I had seen in a lot of other people's videos that they were using this book, that they recommended it. Oh my gosh, Hadley squeaking out there. <laughs> Hold on, let me close my door. <laughs> anyway, this five minute journal um, people were talking about it and raving about it and so I decided to look into it and it is basically just this journal that you fill in with the dates like here at the top. You write in the morning and at night you write what you're grateful for, what would make today great, and your daily affirmations in the morning. And then at night you go back into the journal and you fill out amazing things that happened today and how could I have made today even better and I just think that this is such an inspiring way to like keep yourself motivated and I am really really excited to start using this and the next sort of like organizational thing that I have um, those first two were kind of a little bit more inspiring but this is more of an organization thing um, this is just my knock knock pad the first time I actually got one of these was I believe at Marshall's and I don't remember exactly which um, like edition it was but I got it before my first semester of college and it honestly helped me so much staying on task like 
I'm just the type of person where I need to make lists of everything I do. I need to write everything down. I have like a different notebook for my YouTube stuff, a different notebook for my school stuff. I have like a whiteboard calendar over there somewhere. I've got my knock knock pad. Like I have different modes of organization for different categories. So this I just use for like small daily tasks that I need to get done every day. Like I have some of my YouTube stuff on here, like when I need to upload and when I need to film a video. And then I just have like little tasks, like go to Goodwill, like go here, do this. And it's cute because they have like these little check marks down the edge and you can just check them off as you go. And to me personally, I find that really satisfying. So the next category of stuff that I'm going to go into is beauty related stuff. I don't have too many things in this category, so it won't be too long. But the first thing I have, I have been using for quite a while now. And I just feel like these are so necessary for everyone. It is just like these exfoliating gloves. You can kind of see the like rough texture that's on them. So these are great for me because I personally get a lot of ingrown hairs on the back of my legs, especially my thighs. And I feel like using a loofah, I do have one, but I feel like it just doesn't exfoliate that area um, and my skin in general as much as I would like it to. So these are really great because they are pretty rough on my skin so if you have sensitive skin i'm not sure i would recommend these for you but if you have ingrown hairs like i do these are great because they exfoliate so so well i feel like my skin is so smooth when i get out of the shower and they are just so easy to use like you just slip them on your hands you get them wet you put your body wash on there and then you just scrub away like you're washing your body normally so these are a great buy i think they were only like four bucks the next thing that i was super super excited for is just these like towel cloth headbands with this velcro strap here so you can make these however big however small you want these i found are great for when i'm doing my makeup i like to push back my hair with a headband um, whenever I'm doing my skincare in the morning or at night. I always like to push my hair back because I have all these little tiny baby hairs that like to stick out and stick on my face and they get very annoying sometimes. So I like to push my hair back with something. And these are just great for that because they are great when your hair is still wet to just push it back out of the way. And I also like to use these, you know, like if I'm doing a face mask, honestly, anything where my hair just needs to be out of my face. These were also super, super affordable. I think they were under $10. I'm not sure exactly how much they were, but they come in this pack of four. I just got the white pack, but they also come in black. And the next beauty item that I have for you guys, I'm actually not going to show because I am using it for light right now. And it is just this beautiful vanity that was actually a gift given to me by my sister, Naomi. Thank you, Naomi. It is just like the most wonderful vanity. It has three different modes for lighting. So I think it has like natural light, daytime and nighttime and then you can adjust the brightness to like super, super bright or pretty dim, almost off. And it is not battery operated. You plug it right into a wall, which is great. So you never have to worry about like changing batteries and stuff. I used to have an old little impressions vanity mirror that I think I picked up from Marshalls and I really liked it, but it was battery operated and I always had to worry about like changing the batteries on it and eventually the battery like area just got fried and I couldn't use it anymore I had to throw it out so this is great and it is absolutely massive and it is so high quality it's so nice I literally use it every single day so if you are a makeup person like I am I definitely 100% recommend getting this vanity. It is under $100. It is a little bit more on the pricier side than a lot of things in this video, but personally, I found that it was 
so so worth it so the next category of stuff that i have for you guys is some tech stuff and like tech accessories the first thing is also another one that i won't be able to show you because it is my phone case and i'm currently filming on my iphone um but i'll have it linked down below for you guys it's my favorite phone case it's the second time i've purchased it um, it is just this really pretty gray leather phone case that has these two built-in pockets on the back. Um, so if you're a college student or if you're just someone who likes to keep like your cards and your ID just in the back of your phone so it's really easy to access, this phone case is perfect for you. It looks so expensive it's such high quality it's really really pretty and it comes in a ton of different colors my last one i had for so long that it started to like rip and tear as phone cases do so i picked up another one from amazon just the same exact one same color and i love it i put my id in the back it's great for if you're going out to the bars and you don't want to bring like your whole big purse with you you just want your id and your credit or debit card you can just stick them right in the back there or you know whatever other cards money you want to stick back there it just looks really nice it doesn't look super tacky or anything like i feel like those like silicone like stick on the back of your phone case type things are i don't even know exactly what they are but they're just like little pockets that have a sticker on them that you just slap on the back of your phone and i'm really not a big fan of those i don't think they look great but this is so nice because it's still like a slim nice look on the back of your phone it doesn't make it super chunky so definitely recommend getting that and going along with phone accessories here i just have the amazon basics iphone charging cable i believe this is the three foot one it's not super long these are the best iphone cords you can get they literally last forever they come in a couple different colors they are way way more affordable than the iphone cords and they don't do that weird like turtleneck thing that most iphone cords do like they don't break right here where you plug into your phone so this one i think i've had for a year and a half now it's still like good as new never had any problems with it and like i said they come in different sizes like this is the three foot one i think they have a six foot a 10 foot a 12 foot i'm not even sure and again a bunch of different colors really affordable if you have an iphone this is what you need and the next little tech item i have for you guys was also a gift but it's from Amazon. I didn't buy it with my own money. It is also a little bit more on the pricier side, like the vanity, but it was so, so worth it for me. And it is just this JBL speaker. This is the JBL Flip 4, I believe. I use it every single day. I use it when I shower. I use it when I get ready. I bring it to the beach. Um, yeah, this thing literally travels everywhere with me. It's such a nice quality it gets super super loud which is great because sometimes you really have to pump the beats but like i said this was a gift i believe it was around 60 dollars. so for a high quality speaker that really isn't that bad but if you're not looking to spend that much i'm sure there's cheaper options that you could find the next little tech accessory that i have for you guys is actually just this little itty bitty airpod case this is a silicone airpod case and i just got it in this gray color as you can see there's a big gray theme here i really like the color gray but i just wanted to keep it simple and sleek and clean so i just got it in this light gray color and the thing that i love about this is that it comes with this little clip right here that you can clip onto literally anything like you can clip it on to the side of your jeans you could clip it onto your keys you could clip it onto your backpack it just makes it so much easier to find and another thing that i really love about these is that the bottom there's this little flap right here where you're supposed to plug in your charger and it doesn't just kind of like fall out here on the bottom like it stays in there and that is because it has this little like dip in it where the charging hole charging port is 
And so you just stick it in there. So it keeps that safe as well. So if you are on the go and you're just like throwing this in your bag and say you have like crumbs or water or something in your bag that can damage your AirPod case. And like, let's be real, these cases can get so expensive. This helps protect your AirPods. It's just really cute. Like you just clip it onto anything. It's super cute. And another tech item that I have for you guys is actually my lovely MacBook case in this beautiful marble print. Um, so it has this top cover for it, this bottom cover with these really nice like non-slip little buttons down here. And they actually had an option when I was buying this case to get a keyboard cover as well. I just didn't want that personally, but that is an option for those of you who want that little extra level of protection. I love this case. It was super affordable. I think it was under $15 if I remember correctly. And it comes in so many different colors and patterns, you guys. Like there's literally something for everyone. So if you are in need of a MacBook case, this is the one I would recommend to you. And it's so nice. It's like, it's not like a glossy finish. It's kind of a, more of a matte finish. They might have some that do come with glossy finishes if that's what you're into. But I'm really glad that this pretty marble one came with a matte finish just because I feel like it just looks nicer, just fits my aesthetic more. And the last little tech accessory for you guys, I am also unfortunately not gonna show because I am currently using it and it is just the iPhone tripod that my camera, my iPhone is sitting in right now. If you've watched my previous videos, you would know that the angle of my videos was a little bit weird and that is because I was literally propping my phone up on a picture frame that was on top of some plastic drawers that was on top of this other thing on this other thing so it was really just like a, a pretty ratchet setup so i figured it was time to get a tripod and i am so so happy i did this one works super well it comes with this really handy little bluetooth remote thing and you can use it to like take pictures and stuff you can just have it like hiding in your hand um, and it's, you don't have to use self timer or anything cause it's just Bluetooth. It's just connected to your phone. And the stand itself is really, really nice. It is just like a little short stand so it could be handheld if you wanted it. Um, and it's got these little foam, like it's foamy on the, on the legs that stand down. So it's really comfortable when you hold it. Um, everything is adjustable, like the angle that you guys are at, I could tilt you back or tilt you forward, I could tilt you this way, that way. Um, so just to start off, it is a really great phone stand. I'm really happy with it. I'll probably be using it for a few months until I can afford a nicer camera, but I am really, really happy with this purchase. And again, it was super affordable. So as we come to the end of our video here, I just have a couple of like miscellaneous type things to show you guys and the first one is this really cute little wick trimmer so if you guys don't know what a wick trimmer is um it is just this these scissors that you can take into your candle and cut off the like charred part of the candle wick so that it lights better and faster and so that the charred parts of the wick don't fall down into the melted wax because that just, to me, it looks kind of gross. So I got this idea for a wick trimmer. I actually didn't really know that I needed one of these until my friend Brittany worked at Yankee Candle and she was like, girl, you need a wick trimmer. And the next item that I have for you guys, I don't know about you, but I am obsessed with drinking water. I drink so much water every single day. It's ridiculous. So I obviously needed to get a cute little cup to hold all that water with. And this is just this 20 ounce glass tumbler with this really, really nice bamboo lid um, and this little silicone case that 
wraps around it and it actually came with two straws so there's like this gray one that matches the case down here and it also came with a kind of more like clear one and this is amazing because it is bpa free it's reusable you're saving the environment and i actually really love the size of this one a lot of people are like oh erica like that's so small like how do you drink enough water personally i drink more water if i have like a container like this but it's smaller so if i'm just like continuously drinking water and this empties really quick I feel the need to go fill it up and drink more water. Whereas if I have a big, large container of it, I'm not gonna feel as motivated to drink the amount of water that I should be. So I really love this, it's super cute, and I'm really, really happy with it. Again, going with the gray theme, matches everything, matches my aesthetic. This was a great purchase. Next, you guys, this is something that I feel like a lot of high school and college students, you need this, okay? If you don't have a pair of blue light glasses during this crazy corona quarantine time, I don't know what you've been doing, okay? These are just these super cute. You have probably seen me wearing these on my Instagram or in like some video thumbnail of mine. I don't even, I don't even remember. But they are just these super cute, super large, round, tortoiseshell um, blue light glasses. And I got these towards the end of last school year. So around May is when I first, this is my first pair of blue light glasses and they have helped me so much. I sleep better at night. I use these every time I look at my phone, whenever I'm editing videos, whenever I'm doing schoolwork on my computer, they reduce the amount of headaches that I get. I used to get such bad migraines from having to like stare at my computer for practice, like as a college student for like hours on end, like it was awful. And now that, you know, a lot of college students are online for most if not all of their classes like you're staring at a computer screen for so long and that is so straining for your eyes you guys like please get a pair of blue light glasses like they don't need to be expensive like there's some out there that are over a hundred dollars you know i'm sure they're great but to me that's ridiculous these were like 14 and they're super cute like look at them just get a pair of blue light glasses just get them all right, you guys, and the very last thing I have for you, um, if you are not a dog owner, you can go ahead and skip this part. This is just um, a little fun thing that I thought I would include for Miss Hadley. If you have a double-coated dog like I do, Hadley is my five-month-old corgi. She sheds like crazy. Um, and now that she's five months old, like it's starting to really show it wasn't that bad when she was a puppy. I mean, she still is a puppy, but it wasn't that bad when she was younger. Now that she is a little bit older, it's really starting to show. Her hair is literally everywhere. It's crazy. I love her to death, so I don't mind that much, but my mom does. If you have a double-coated breed, you probably heard of the Furminator. So that is like a special brush that gets rid of like all the loose undercoat hairs but the catch is that thing runs for like 30, 40 dollars. Like it's expensive as hell for a pet brush. This one I found on Amazon and it is essentially the same thing. It is by the brand Pet Neat right here. And as you can see, it's just like this little brush with these little picks down here. And this black part actually comes out if you push this button down you can just pull it out like that and store it nice and like compact like that and then you just push it right back in and it doesn't fall out or anything and this is just the perfect size for her she's not gonna get too big she's around 13 14 pounds right now um she's definitely gonna stay on the smaller side of the corgi breed so this is perfect for her. If you have a larger breed, like I believe German Shepherds are also double coated breeds, you might wanna try and find a larger brush than this. But this is an amazing, amazing dupe for 
the Furminator and it is a fraction of the price. I think this was like $10 or so. All right, you guys, that is it for my Amazon favorites video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had so much fun filming this. I absolutely love shopping at Amazon. So there will definitely be more of these to come in the future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you wanna see more content similar to this. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.